So here's what the machine looks like with the motor off of it. This is bolted to the table. Like I said, this thing is very old. It's a lot older than I am, and I'm, I'll be 23 um, in 2019. So this thing's probably 25, 30 years old. It's really old. But it works. And as you see, it's designed for push mowers, because push mowers is what you'll have bent crank shafts on. And the way this works is the shaft comes through here, and they make a sleeve that looks almost like a socket that slides over it. And you tighten this up, this big machine screw here, and that exerts a downward force on the high end of the crankshaft where it's bent. And that straightens it because it's basically pressure. Because when you exert a downward force on something, it will bend. And that's how you straighten the crankshaft. It's pretty simple. So I got this Husqvarna push mower here. It's actually one of the later model all-wheel drives from 2016, so it's not that old, and has a bent crankshaft. And I'm going to talk a little bit about bent crankshafts and how to straighten it. Now, one thing to remember is that I have my own lawnmower shop, so I'm going to flip this thing up on its side and talk a little bit about a bent crankshaft. So here's the blade, and this is your crankshaft. So when I spin this, you're going to see how it's bent. If you look at it closely, you can see it, how it's bent. All right, see here, so I'm going to over here. See there as I'm spinning it, how it's bent. Another thing that I like to do is so I got me a paint pen here, and we're going to mark a line down here on the deck. Just like that. So you see that silver line? Now when I turn this blade, you see this side matches up with the silver line. So when I turn this over, you can see that's way below the silver line. That's telling me that the crankshaft's bent. Now I can also look at the crankshaft up here at the blade adapter and clearly see that it's bent. You can see how it's bent. See there as I'm turning it. The camera's picking this up. You can also look straight at the center of the bolt and see that it's bent. See there? So I'm going to dump a gas out of this motor before it all pours over the floor and all over me. And we're going to take this motor off and I'm going to show you my crankshaft straight. Alright, so the first thing we got to do is take a blade off. Now like I said, this is a brand new blade and that didn't solve the problem. So that told me that the crankshaft was bent. And I got the handlebar released now because I took a brake cable off. So you can't turn it, but this in here is a 9 16 Brand new blade, take that off. Then we gotta get our blade adapter off. And while I'm doing this, I'll talk about why most repair shops will not straighten crankshafts. The reason most repair shops will not straighten crankshafts is for a bunch of reasons. One being liability, because a shaft can be so bent that it actually can break. And broken crankshaft means no mower. Another reason is, is because most repair shops also want to sell you a new motor or a new mower. Now, I have a crankshaft straightener, and I do, at the customer's request, will straighten a bent crankshaft. Now, this is my own personal use mower, too. And that's why I don't loan out equipment anymore, because they usually come back broken and tore up just like this one did. These bolts aren't very tight. It's usually three bolts that hold on a push mower motor. Sometimes you'll get weird ones that have four bolts, sometimes even five. I've seen them with six bolts all around, but the majority is going to be three. On a riding mower is where you get up to four. You know, straightening a crankshaft is something 
I wouldn't recommend doing on your own unless you absolutely have to. I've seen videos where people take a hammer and hit it. One thing to keep in mind, you don't want to mar this surface because if you mar this surface or mushroom is in and out, it's garbage because you'll never get it perfectly smooth and round to where your blade adapter will fit on. Find someone with a crankshaft straightening machine. That's my only recommendation. So I'm going to one hand holding the motor. There's my loud air compressor. The motor is off. They make a sleeve that goes over this, but mine broke many, many years ago, and I've yet to get a replacement. But this little needle here, there's supposed to be a gauge over here. And it's supposed to go up and down like this, and when it's right in the center is when it's straight. I need to get some replacement parts for it, but when it's weighed down like this, it means it's bent. Now, I could sacrifice one of my sockets and risk busting them, but I'm not. I just do it this way, because this isn't going to mar up the crankshaft surface. Alright, so we're going to take the pressure off and see. Now you would never ever get these straight. And I tend to use this as a gauge. I get this down to right where it's tight. I think it's straight. So what we're going to do now is pull on it and see how it looks. Turns out it's still pretty bent. So we got it at the high spot. We're going to crank down on it again. We'll get this tight. This is putting a downward pressure on it to straighten it. Alright, so I let that sit a minute. That's right on the high spot where it's bent or pretty darn close to it. Oops. The sucker's still bent. 
make sure I'm not marring up the surface and I'm not Pull it. It's getting better. See, it's still slightly, ever so slightly bent. So we're gonna get it right to the high spot. You can see it wobbling still. That gurgling's normal. That's just oil and stuff. So right at the high spot. I have to get some replacement sleeves, but they're expensive. They're like twenty dollars a sleeve. This is a seven eighths diameter crankshaft. These crankshaft straighteners are not cheap. I do charge a little bit to straighten a crankshaft for somebody, but they have to understand the risks that it can get even more damaged, like I said, with the crankshaft actually busting on it. But I've maybe had that happen three times in 20 years, and it's usually the ones that are so severely bent that they have like stress fractures or micro fractures in them. This one, it was pretty darn bent bad. It would have been a lot more interesting if this thing worked here, but like I said, my sleeve adapter broke a long time ago. Alright, so we're going to take this off. Just let it sit 30 seconds to you know, a minute, 60 seconds. It's looking better. So we'll leave that bolt right there touching on the high side and see if I can pull it. This thing's going to go gurgle gurgle. Is that pretty darn good? I think I'm going to tap it just a little bit more for good measures. Go down a little bit too tight. It'll never be 100% straight, you know, like factory straight. It'll still have a little bit of vibration to it, but it's better than, you know, jumping a perfectly good motor. People will throw out a push mower because the repair shop will say, yeah, you're going to need a new motor. But if you find someone like me, you can straighten them for $20, $30, depending on how bad they are. So now let's get this bolt. Right flush against it. So I'm happy to use this as my gauge and eyeball it. Pull it like I'm starting it. Hopefully I don't get with my ratchet. Hopefully I don't pop my pull rope, which I probably will. Bust the pull rope, I put one in it. That's as much as I'm going to do. It's straight enough for me. Straight enough for whoever's possibly going to buy the push mower. And now I'm going to lower this and we are going to remove the motor off camera because I have to crawl up under here and loosen the bolts. It's going to be fun getting this thing to start, but that's my crankshaft straightener. It's really old. It's older than yeah. I am. It's air gun time. Why is it? Air impact time. It's time to put the blade on. I might not have air pressure in here to not turn on the air compressor. We'll see. So, I'm going to get the blade on here. It's a really, really good fit. A blade adapter is never going to fit snug. You don't want it to. But if you hit something, you want it to shear. And lawnmower blades are not razor sharp like most people think. It's a brand new blade and I can run my finger back and forth and not get hurt. You don't have to have a blade razor sharp. Tighten it up. Right, that's good and tight. So now we'll pay attention to our mark down here. It's still slightly, ever so slightly bent. Alrighty guys, well that's how you straighten a crankshaft on a bent push mower. As you see, it's not 100% straight, but it's a lot better than it was.
because before it was really bad. So I'm going to put this thing down, start it up, see how it feels, and rock and roll from there. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys on the next one.